Hey teachers. So today I'm going to talk about why you might want to consider using Loom for your distance learning. It's pretty awesome because you can record yourself and your face so kids feel close to you, they can sense your presence, and you can also show your computer screen. So if you want to show them something that you're doing or how to get to a website or a PowerPoint presentation, you can do that at the same time. So there, uh, here I have my face nice and big so that they, you know you can do something out here. You could show them a book, hold up a book, or do a demonstration or something like that. There's plenty of space in the video. Or if you click on the bottom of this little thing down here, you can make yourself small. If you wanted to, say, show a PowerPoint presentation, okay? So I can have myself down here so they can still see me and show my PowerPoint at the same time. As soon as I go into slideshow mode, uh, my picture disappears, but you can still hear my voice. I can flip through my PowerPoint and they can hear my voice. You can talk them through the slides, blah, blah, blah. And then as soon as you get out of slideshow mode, then your picture shows back up. And if you wanna sort of close out your session, you can make yourself big. And all of this is recorded in a video and you can just post it right to your team site, okay? Um, the other thing that's cool about Loom is that you don't have to download a special app or a special program. You can use it right through Google Chrome, okay? So it's a part of your browser. So I wanna tell you how to get Loom onto your computer and how to use it. So loom.com, click on get Loom free. You're going to enter an email address. I would recommend using your school email address because they give you a free pro version of Loom. Enter your name and a password and then hit continue. Click on the education version here because again, you're gonna get pro version for free. Now it asks you if you wanna do the desktop app or the Chrome extension. I chose the Chrome extension because I didn't want to use the space on my computer. The desktop app does have a few more features. If you're interested in that, you can go that route. Chrome extension uh, is nice because you can also use it on any computer. So add to Chrome. Click on that, add extension. Uh, you can turn on sync or not. And then this little icon up here is your new Loom icon. It's gonna ask you, uh, if you have a Mac, it'll ask you for access to your microphone and your camera, hit, hit okay. And now, that's how easy it is to get started. So hit new video. So here you're gonna choose screen and camera, screen only or camera only. I like mine on screen and camera together. And then hit start recording. It's going to ask you if you wanna do your entire screen or just an application window. I like to do the entire screen. And then you hit share. And it's gonna give you a countdown. And then you're live. And you can talk to kids. So now it's recording and you can say whatever you want. So on mine, I was saying hello, and then I wanted to take them to the Getty Museum website and show them this project that I wanted them to do. And I'm gonna show them a bunch of photos of different example ideas. And I'm talking, talking, and then when you're done, you press pause down by your face, and you press the green little check mark. It takes you to this screen. This is the screen where you can do any editing of your video. Notice over on the right hand side, it says edit your video. You can trim it very simply. You can't do a lot of editing, but I am going to change the name of my video. I'm going to add a description here in this description box. And then I'm gonna hit post. And then I can copy the link. So you hit copy link, and then you can take that copied link and you can paste it wherever you want. So I'm gonna paste it into an assignment here for kids to see. Add resources, hit the link button, 
And then right here in that bar, I'm just going to hit paste and then attach. There you have it. Pretty simple, right? So theoretically, you can also download the app on an iPad or your iPhone for Loom, but I was reading that you can't split screen between your own photo and the rest of the screen. That's more of a computer feature. So, uh, and remember that down here at the bottom, you click on the bottom of your little circle picture and that's how you change the size of your picture. All right, best of luck.